So this is just a quick and easy face tutorial. If you want to get fancier, look into In Between Targets, Buffer Networks, and uh, Stop Staring by Jason Osipa. That's where I picked up a lot of this. All right, so first you want to build your blend shapes. Uh, blend shapes work by taking the translation values of the vertexes and adding it to the base geo. So you want each shape to come from the same base so that the object's vertex numbers will be the same. Select Blend Shapes first, then Shift Select Base Geo. Rigging menu, Deformers, Blend Shape. For controls, place a circle nerve in a group so you can move it without affecting its translation values. Uh, you want to go to the Attribute Editor after that to limit it to whatever plane you plan on scooting it on. Uh, I plan on using the Y and X, so I'll only lock Z. Set it to 1 so it can reach its full shape. Think of it like percentages. So 2 uh, would do each vertex translation 200%, which we don't want. But 1 is like the 0 is off, 1 is on, 100%. Uh, just for aesthetics, I like to put a box around them so you know the limits. Uh, take a circle nerve, drawing overrides bounding box. Then to match the box, we'll scale the control group with the group to match whatever box size we want. All right, now that the control and the geo is built, go to Windows, Animation Editors, Expression Editor, uh, select the base geo, then the blend shape attribute. And now, once we've chosen our blend shape, copy, paste, and then equals your control name, dot translate and then whatever plane you want. Boom! Now we've got a face rig. Now that the blend shapes are covered, we can scan. I don't know if that's a law. I just tried it the other way around once and had issues, so I decided not to do it again. Could work fine for you. Give it a shot. And that's it.